Hey, Golf Alex. Here we are at St. John's Resort in Northville, Michigan, just outside of Detroit a little bit, kind of the west of Detroit downtown. Uh, we're talking with Nick Bex, who is the director of golf, executive director of golf here, uh, just took the position. Nick, welcome to Back Nine Report. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Nick, this is a beautiful piece of property out here. Besides the beautiful hotel with all the amenities that go along with that, it's a you know a really high quality facility. And you've just done a renovation of the golf course done by Ray Hearn. It looks really good. Yeah, they did a great job. Kevin Peck, our superintendent, led the growing and, you know, can't say enough wonderful things about Ray and the design and Kevin and his team putting it all together. So in addition to that, you have some other things here. You have a Carl's Golf Land uh, facility here, which everything a golfer could possibly want is in there. You also put in a par three. This was an originally a 27-hole facility. Now it's an 18-hole championship golf with a 9-hole par 3, uh, the largest putting green in uh, in the state of Michigan. It's quite a facility. Yes, that putting green, uh, it was a great design that Ray put together uh, off of a number of different inspirational putting courses across the, the, the world, actually. So um, just under two acres on a putting green, and it's it's pretty fantastic. 18-hole set up on that to do a putting course. And the Little Cardinal is actually a 7-hole par 3. Um, it ranges anywhere from 110 yards down to 40 yards. So you can practice a short game and really get it dialed in. Yeah, like I say, it's a, just a wonderful piece of property. But So this is an old Catholic convent. Uh, do you know the dates when it was converted to a resort? I don't have them off the top of my head, but I know the resort has been around for, I want to say it's roughly 15 years um, on the resort side of it, more of hotel. Uh, golf course has been around for uh, quite a while, actually. It was part of the seminary. They built nine holes, and then they built another nine holes, and then they built another nine holes as time went on. So um, we took a lot of that layout, changed it up quite a bit, um, but there are some holes that would be reminiscent of some of the old holes that we had. Yeah, so um, this is uh, this facility is now owned. It was purchased by a family, a prominent family here in Detroit, and it's now owned by their foundation or charity. Yes, the Pulte Family Charitable Foundation, um, a wonderful foundation that uh, we all work for, and um, we're happy to be able to put resources back into the community, and that's what this place really stands for. So with the renovation of the golf course, uh, the rooms, uh, the you, you just put a new uh, a bar lounge in the basement in the, uh, in the restaurant. It was beautiful. I was down there last year. It's fantastic. So if somebody's looking to come for D- to Detroit for some function, maybe a football game or a, or the Tigers or maybe University of Michigan, you're not that far from Ann Arbor here, uh, this would make a great location to hang out and stay, maybe play a little golf while you're here. It's a prime location. We're 30 minutes from Ann Arbor. It's a quick drive there, 30 minutes into downtown Detroit. Um, you can do everything here and not be stuck in the middle of a city, right? So we're in the, the metro area, and uh, it's just a... a a perfect access point to be able to move around the area and see all that uh, Southeast Michigan has to offer. Nick, I think uh, that pretty much covers the topics I want to talk about. Is there anything else you want people to know about uh, why they should come here to St. John's? Well, if they're looking for an, uh, an, a challenging round at a fantastic facility, we've got everything you need right here. And the money goes to a worthy charity. Absolutely. All of our proceeds uh, do go to the Pulte Family Charitable Foundation, and they distribute those locally and globally. So it's 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 nice to come to work and be able to do something that helps other people out. Nick, thanks so much for taking a few minutes and uh, talking to us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.